Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are talking about contraceptives, contraceptions, everything we do to avoid getting pregnant. Uh, I was thinking about making a video to update you guys on the type of on the type of uh, contraceptive that I use, which is the natural method. If you have been on my channel for a long time, I'm sure you know, you know, I practice the natural method, AKA natural family planning. And I wanted to make a video to update you guys, you know, just to share some new things I've learned since I've been on this journey and you know, how it has been working for me you know just a lot of things i think you guys will benefit from but i thought before i go on to make that video i should first share you know the reason behind going into the natural method the history behind it uh my experiences with all that kind of contraceptives and why i decided to you know to switch to the natural method so yeah in today's video i will be sharing with you all my experiences with some other kind of contraceptives i have used in the past i hope today's video is helpful to you if you're trying to decide what kind of contraceptive is best for you i hope that after watching this video you will be able to make that decision and if you're new to my channel you're very welcome here my name is nosa i make motherhood and lifestyle videos if you love content like this please feel free to subscribe and be a part of my youtube family and also give this video a thumbs up if Okay, before we get started, please, I have young kids and this is their nap time, but they are doing everything to not take that nap. So it's very noisy, very loud. There's a lot of screaming and laughing going on uh, in the background. So if you hear any noise like that, please just try to block them out and, you know, focus on me. Okay, okay story time, contraceptives and contraceptions. I've only used two types of contraceptives in my entire life. One of them has worked out very well for me and is still working. And the other one, I had a very, very horrible experience with it. And that is what I'll be sharing in today's video. So after having my first child, we, you know, that was when I first started practicing the natural method. And to be honest, I didn't know anything about it. It was a lot of guess game for me. By the way, the natural method is simply or basically just knowing when you are most fertile and, you know, avoiding sex or, you know, having like protected sex during that period. So, um, yeah, I knew, you know, I knew my body to an extent. I didn't have any of these ovulation apps that would help me predict this and that. I didn't have a, a lot of knowledge, but I was doing a lot of guest game and somehow it worked out for me. And, you know, we're able to avoid getting pregnant for a period of time until we conceived our second. So after having uh, our second child, we decided to do something more serious, more serious, you know, take a serious form of contraceptive. And that was when I talked to my doctor about it. She did give me a lecture, you know, she talked to me about the different types of, uh, you know, contraceptives that were available. She talked about IUD, she talked about our next plan on, and she also talked about the mini pills. So out of everything she said, the mini pills were, they sounded like the simplest to me, like the easiest thing I could do. Uh, for IUD, I just wasn't, com the IUD and the next plan on, I wasn't just comfortable with the idea of having something inside my body all day, every day for years, okay? So I decided to go with the pills. Now, my baby was about two months old when I got on these pills. So my body was still just recovering from pregnancy and I was still trying to get used to being a mom of two. I had a toddler, he was about two, you know, close to three. So he was very, very active and I had an infant. I was actively breastfeeding. I think I was exclusively breastfeeding at the time. And, you know, like I said, I was, you know, just new to being a mom of two, trying to get a hang of things. You know, there was so much going on. My body was still in that phase of being pregnant and not being pregnant. This is the fourth trimester. So there was just a lot. My body was, my body was going through so much. And, you know, I decided to invite these strange pills into my body. So I noticed that during the first four weeks or one month of taking the pills, everything was going well. You know, I didn't notice anything strange. Uh, but by the time we got to the, to the second month, I started noticing or experiencing some very funny and strange things in my body. First was the headaches, but I was dealing with constant headache. And when I say headache, I mean real serious headache. Sometimes it's just this part of my eyes. Sometimes it's my whole forehead. Sometimes it's the back of my head. Sometimes it's my whole head just heavy and when you know when this headache comes it is difficult for me to open my eyes it is difficult for me to you know look at the screen like the tv screen or my phone everything becomes everything just becomes heavy everything just makes my eyes to water 
it was really 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 bad i would take some Tylenol and the headache would not go anywhere so i was dealing with headache like constant headache or migraine if you like another thing i was experiencing was fatigue you guys i was always so tired for somebody that has a very active toddler how should i just sit down just sit around and not do anything i i always look at somebody who just came out of a coma i couldn't do anything I, all i wanted to do was just sleep 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 i would sleep and wake up and sleep again and this was happening during the day okay i was always sleeping throughout the day tired i also noticed that i had no motivation no motivation to get up no motivation to go outside no motivation i mean i wasn't feeling sad or depressed but i had zero motivation to do anything I always wanted to sit down and just sleep all day you know always so tired i had no strength no nothing to do anything that was another thing i was dealing with I, severe hunger <laughs> you guys this kind of hunger is the one that comes from the pit of hell okay <laughs> honestly i don't know where else to describe it from i had serious hunger i would wake up at 6 a.m and i'm hungry i was eating like a pregnant woman you know like i had a hole in my tummy that would that could never be filled up i was just constantly like every hour you would find me with food and when i say food i'm not talking about fruits you know maybe some cantaloupe or some oranges i mean food food like bread like heavy carbohydrate food that was all i was eating and i was never full and you know what comes with eating a lot weight gain so that was another thing i've noticed you guys this is the third time i'm having a child and you guys can see that i have bones everywhere but for the first time in my life these bones you know were filling up with flesh I was putting on a lot of weight my cheeks were you know round and chubby my arms were like just getting bigger and bigger my clothes i couldn't fit into my clothes anymore and at some point i was like okay maybe it's because i'm breastfeeding so the baby is sucking out all the fluid in my body so i need to eat and i need to eat more so that's why i'm gaining weight but this was strange the way i was eating was uncontrollable and i was gaining a lot of weight and i couldn't help myself i couldn't stop myself from eating so yeah i was eating i was gaining the weight i was sleepy i had no motivation and the headaches was always still just there pounding my head another thing i was dealing with was insomnia this is something you don't want to deal with okay so the first time i ever experienced insomnia in my life was when i was pregnant with my first it was difficult for me to sleep i would take like one or two or three hour nap uh, during the day but at night when i go to bed i would just lay there and my eyes are wide open even if i close my eyes to sleep the sleep does not come i would just stay in bed all night you know conscious wide awake that was something i was experiencing while i was taking this another thing i noticed about myself was that i was having constant mood swings this moment i'm very happy the next moment i'm sad i'm crying and i don't even know why i am crying this moment i am you know happy and chatty and laughing and playing the next moment i am angry i want to bite off somebody's head you know i am you know so mad it was so obvious that my husband noticed it and he was like what is going on with you like you have never been this person is it this new baby like what is and another thing i noticed was my temperature my temperature kept fluctuating this moment i'm hot the next moment i'm cold this moment i'm wearing um i'm wearing like tank tops like oh my god it's so hot the next moment oh my god i need a blanket i need another one i need another one i'm so cold you know my temperature just kept fluctuating and you guys i never thought that the pills i was taking was responsible for this this whole time i thought that i was dealing with you know postpartum stuff maybe it's, this is just part of what comes with postpartum and to be honest some of these things comes with postpartum okay sometimes it can be a uh, postpartum depression it can just be like hormonal balance you know your hormones trying to balance back to where they were before so i just uh credited everything to postpartum i never ever ever thought for once that the pills i was taking was responsible for any of this now the last thing i experienced which was which to me was probably the worst was irregular period okay so for me all my life i've always had like a clockwork uh type of period pattern my period comes when i'm expecting it to come now when i started taking the pills i noticed something my periods would my period would just show up anytime okay and i'll be like wait i did i not just say my period last week oh you know that that was when i started looking at my calendar what is going on today what is this is this my period is this a sign of implantation am i pregnant i can't tell you guys how many pregnancy tests i took throughout that period because there was another thing that was happening so the pattern you know it will come and it will last for like a day or two and it will disappear sometimes it will come and it will stay for like 
10 days which was strange to me i've never had my period for that long now be like what is going on what is this bleeding that is not stopping and you know other times it would come and it would stay for one day or two days and it would go and then there were some months where my period would not even come at all and those were the months that i would be like i am sure i am definitely pregnant because i'm experiencing all these other things in my body so i'll be like this is definitely a sign of pregnancy and you know we'll buy the pregnancy test and do the pregnancy test negative so i was like what is going on what is all of this i also had like crazy cravings okay let me not even go into all of that i had very crazy cravings so yeah my period were just irregular it was difficult for me to predict when my next period would be it would just show up whenever it liked it would disappear when it liked and come back again and you know it was it was hard it was a very scary period for me you know because so the last straw that broke the camel's back the last thing that happened that made me realize that okay i don't need these pills in my life anymore was um this was the experience i had one day i was just there in the living room uh nursing my baby after nursing her she fell asleep now that day i was already dealing with the headaches and at some point I, I just noticed that my head was getting really really heavy and the room was getting dark and i couldn't feel my legs anymore i couldn't i couldn't feel my body anymore i was like i have to put my baby in a safe position right now in case i fall down from this chair i was downstairs there was no bed around me so i had to put my baby on the floor and i fell backwards and i blacked out i i, I just everywhere just went black and i honestly i don't know how long i was there for but when i opened my eyes when i regained consciousness i saw my baby screaming on the floor and i was trying to remember what happened so of course i knew i knew that i was holding this baby and i got to this position and put her down and i was like did i just faint <laughs> did i just experience what people call faint like so i was like i think i just fainted i need to drink some water maybe i'm dehydrated so my baby was still there on the floor you guys when i got up from the floor i couldn't stand up straight i didn't have a straight uh posture so i staggered and staggered and staggered to the fridge got some water staggered back to to the position where my baby was my baby was screaming i couldn't pick her up because i knew that i wasn't stable i sat there until I could feel my body again until I fully regained consciousness. So when I eventually did, I picked her up and then I texted my husband. I told her, I told him something just happened. I don't know what it is, but I think I fainted. He was like, did you drop the baby? I was like, no, 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 he, she's fine. But I think I fainted. And I think the pills are responsible for it. That was the first time I admitted that those pills were doing something to me. So I was like, I think those pills are doing some real harm to me. I'm not going to take them anymore. I am throwing those pills away. And at that point, my husband, he was at work. He started Googling everything about the pills. And you guys, he was sending me screenshot upon screenshot. So while I was reading all of the screenshots he was sending, as my eyes were just open and I realized, wow, you really have to do your research before putting anything into your body. Even the companies that, that you know, made those pills, they wrote it there. They put all of the side effects there. But you guys, I did not read any of those things. I didn't even listen to my doctor when she was talking about, you know, the symptoms that could occur. I was like, I just need these pills to help me prevent getting pregnant. I don't care about any of the side effects. And, you know, until I started experiencing everything I experienced. Anyway, as soon as Hobby got back from work, I told him I shared the whole experience with him. Like he was, he was like, what? Thank God you did not drop the baby. And I was like, yeah, thank God so um yeah at that moment when it got back i brought all the pills the one upstairs the one downstairs the one in my diaper bag the one under the bed <laughs> everything straight to the trash i just threw everything away and that moment i felt some relief okay some freedom and that was the moment when i started researching more about the natural method and you know everything i could do to prevent pregnancy without putting anything foreign in my body so that is going to be my next video i'm going to share with you guys you know what you can do naturally to prevent pregnancies without taking pills medications and blah blah, blah. yeah if you guys are interested in that video then please turn on your notification bells and stick around i am going to share so much you know everything i have learned answer a lot of questions i have been getting on that video and and if you haven't watched the last video i made on the natural method i will link it somewhere so please go watch it and you know just educate yourself and yeah if you are a mom please share with me in the comment section what kind of contraceptive do you use what do you consider as the safest or the best for you hold yourself back let us know tell us your experiences how has it been for, for you have you been gaining a lot of weight do you break out every time just have pimples all over your face do you have uncontrolled cravings do you have headaches 
please share all your experience or do you feel awesome do you feel great do you feel young youthful you know full of energy do you feel like walking out every day yeah i would love to know all of those things and i'm sure other people are watching you know to learn as well so please don't hold yourself back go on to share everything that you have experienced so far with your method of contraception and yeah that will be it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed watching this one if this video was helpful to you please smash the like button and if you're new here do not forget to subscribe i would really really appreciate that thank you guys so so much for watching i'll see you all in my next one Thank mm -hmm. you.